If you're thinking of selling popcorn and making money on it, there's two things you need. You need to have a, an efficient machine and you need some sort of way to get to your customer. That's why I want to show you a popcorn machine with the card from Royal Catering. As you can see, it has this really cool American style sort of design. Uh, some stars and colors to make the machine stand out. And as you can see, there is a card on it with some really big wheels, so off terrain. Uh, is not a problem at all. So just to lock it down in order to make it sit firmly uh, on the spot, there's some brakes, so you just press this one down and the machine will stay in place. Uh, on the other hand, on the service end, there is a cabinet for all the useful things you might need during service. So I just put some corn kernels and some um, utensils you get also in the set so uh, in the set you get a measuring jug that's for your oil and the scoop for your popcorn uh, talking of which well uh, the instruction manual says you need 150 grams of corn kernels and you need 50 mils of oil so it's quite easy to make the seasoning is up to you uh, but enough talking let me show you how it works uh, but a few words about the heart of the mechanism uh, before we start so the heart of the mechanism is this pot. Uh, outside it's of course stainless steel, inside there's Teflon coating so nothing will get stuck to it. A really cool feature is the fact that this has a magnetized lid so when you lift it it will stay up so you can add your ingredients. Also a very cool feature and that's really important, um, the cleaning process is really easy. So uh, you can disassemble the whole pot assembly just by using this pin, unplug this cord and you basically can um, take it out so you have a simple cabinet to uh, clean with a simple um, well, window cleaner and the rest you can clean with some soap. Just remember it is an electrical device so you shouldn't be draining it water. Alright, uh, another cool feature. Uh, there's quite a lot of them actually. So first of all to empty the pot all you need to do is just pull down the lever so uh, the pot hangs on a hinge so you can empty everything out into the main chamber and now what's exposed is the steering mechanism. So let me turn this on. There's some controls on the top, so let me just turn the churning mechanism. I'll get to the other two in a second. Uh, this is a very cool thing to have and that's what you actually need to uh, look at when buying a popcorn machine. What this does, it scrapes the surface of the uh, bottom of the pot, lifting the cooked kernels up and dropping the uncooked kernels back on the surface which is hot so you get the most out of each portion and you're not serving uncooked kernels to your customers. Alright, let's turn it off and let's see the device in action. So in order to do that, let me just put this pot back up. I already measured out my ingredients just so it's easier. So you put your corn kernels in, your oil and what I like to do is I will always put a little bit of seasoning, whether salt or sugar, straight into the pot so when the corn pops uh, it will be instantly covered with the seasoning so it gives it a bit of flavor. All right, let's drop the lid, let's close the doors and let's have a look at the controls. So first turn the power and light on, as you can see the light switch is on and uh, apart from the light, it also emits some heat. There's also a heating element on the bottom. So your popcorn, when it's done, it will stay nice and fresh and warm for your guests. All right, then, too easy. You turn the heating element on and the churning uh, unit on, and now you have a minute and a half to get the portion done. The popping nearly stopped. It means the popcorn is nearly done, so when it goes, um, approximately once in three seconds, that's the time we should turn it off. So let's turn the turning element off, the heating element off, open the doors, the drawer will open automatically giving you more access, lift the lid, pull the lever down and as you can see with no problem at all you empty the whole content of the pot straight into the chamber. Give it a slightly more seasoning and good thing to do is always to give it a stir because let me show you, on the bottom there's some perforations and the perforations are just big enough for the cook, uh, sorry, uncooked kernels to fall through. As you can see, they will be collected by this drawer. So 
This way, you will not be serving any uncooked kernels to your guests, which is great. All right, so all you need now is some sort of a box or bag for your popcorn, and you can go straight into serving your popcorn. All right, so pretty easy, isn't it? Um, just so you know, um, I found some uh, interesting questions on the internet. Uh, first of which is, uh, well, uh, what kind of fuse you need for the machine. The machine works with 1600 watts, so it is quite powerful. It requires a 10 ampere fuse. Uh, also, very frequently asked question is whether you can use this machine outdoors. Well, of course you can, but you need to be careful. It's still an electrical device. Uh, you have unprotected plugs, so if it's raining, well, uh, you should just be careful. All right, that's about it. I thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. I hope I see you next time.